Next, we'll take a look at a 4x4x4 MIMO AC access point, sending traffic to a 4x4x4 MIMO station using channel bonding out to 80 megahertz wide channels. And you'll see that's just traffic between the AP and the station and not seen as noise. Let's take a look at that now. Here is the recording of the channel bonded 802.11ac transfer. This is four 20 megahertz wide channels, channel 100, 104, 108, and 112, bonded together into a single 80 megahertz wide channel. When we look at the frequency spectrum up top, look very closely between the channels. Normally, if this were four separate access points, you would see some space between these channels that had nothing on it. That's the, for the guard interval between the channels. Now, when you're bonding, the guard interval is used. So you can see it's actually taking up that space physically here in this capture. There's no other source of noise here. This is not the non-802.11 interference like we just saw in the microwave. This is purely an 802.11 transmission. This is an 802.11 AC station downloading a 320 megabyte file from an 802.11 AC access point. They are both 4x4x4 MIMO and they both support 80 megahertz wide channels. So this is an interesting one to see because it gives you a, a rare glimpse into what actually happens with a 4x4x4 station connected to an AP. Uh, as you've probably learned in other sessions, a 4x4x4 station is fairly rare. This is actually a desktop machine with a PCI 4x4x4 MIMO card. Probably not going to find that in a tablet or even a laptop just to save battery life. So this is a nice look. I'm going to go ahead and click play right here before the download begins. We only see one channel being used. The base channel and a bonded channel architecture is used for all of the management frames. So what's happening right now is just the access points beaconing. You know, the client station is already connected in this experiment, so we're not going to see that process. But it, if we did see it, it would occur just on one channel exactly like this. In bonded channels, the base channel is always used for management traffic, and it's used to support legacy stations that do not support MIMO. So we can see that happening now. Once the file transfer begins, we're going to see all four of the channels begin to be utilized and to a greater degree than just what a beacon frame takes on that channel. Let's take a look. Here it is and you can see there's a lot of a uh, lot of traffic going across these four channels now uh, to get that 320 meg file down but you'll see how quickly it transfers down because it's 4x4x4 MIMO and 802.11 AC. Look how fast that was, 320 megabytes, just that fast. And now that the transfer has stopped, look, look at this. The other three channels are not being used at all. It's just back to the base channel for the management frames. Now, if there were other clients connected and transferring data up or downloading data from the AP, you would see it again uh, go up and down to see you know, the traffic flow. If somebody is maybe using a, a client device that only supports 40 megahertz wide channels, the AP would adapt to that and you would only see two of these channels used instead of all four. I thought it was important to show you normal Wi-Fi in spectrum analysis as compared to just noise. It helps you understand more of what's happening with Wi-Fi when you can see how it actually works at layer one, as well as looking at the frames in layer two.